I have a, a box of uh, board game bento here, and I believe this is the November box. The theme would be the present. Uh, now, board game bento, you can subscribe for as low as forty-five dollars a month, uh, and you're getting eighty dollars, at least eighty dollars worth of board games in each box. Um, usually, it comes with three, I believe, three board games as a standard. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got this month. All right, exciting. All right. Oh, what's this here? All right. Oh, exposed. It's called. Uh, this looks like you're. Must be you're out in the ocean or something. Uh, well, it's got a smaller box. Uh, well, let's see. The the picture on the front of it. It's um, kind of like a nautical theme. You see a life preserver. There's a couple uh, people kind of images in it. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like something maybe on the sea, but. To say anything about this, what the game's uh, about on there. Your secret identity card determines which character is yours. Maybe Move maybe. yourself and others around the board by swapping characters and locations. Uh, you're looking for the. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, I guess the one thing with this, it doesn't really tell you too much about the game on the box. Steal wallets <laughs> from the characters who surround you. Yours, you steal wallets from. Char uh, expose characters in your row or column that belong to other players, but make sure they don't expose you. Hmm. So 36 identity cards, 50, 36 guest, guest tiles, 56 wallet tiles, 4 target markers, and 6 reference cards. So it looks like it's all done with cards. 30 or 40 it's kind of like a, I don't know if it's like a whodunit or whatever, you gotta try to... You yeah, gotta expose different, different somebody. Different occupations hmm. here, mechanic, undertaker, lawyer, surgeon. Mayor, firefighter, mechanic, the list goes on, magician, cop, engineer, paramedic. You steal wallets. Hmm. Oh, actually, let me, uh, this, uh, so in board game bento, there's oh, there also a little card that kind of tells you a little bit about the games. Uh, so let me read this, what it says here about exposed. Uh, let's see. If you've already opened your copy of exposed by Overworld Games, you might have had the same experience as I did. Why are there there are cards of people in their underwear? Didn't uh, know that. So, no, exposed. <laughs> if you haven't opened it yet, surprise, uh, once you get back past that, <laughs> what you have is an amazing deduction game where you are faced with choices at every turn that will move you toward your ultimate goal but risk revealing your hidden identity to the other players. So exposed, this is what uh, Overworld Games says about it. It says, you're a thief was uh, snuck onto a, uh, a boat party uh, to steal as many wallets as you can without anyone exposing who you are. Steal wallets from the party's eclectic guests without giving away your position on the grid. If you steal enough wallets or you're the last player left expo unexposed, you win. So it almost kind of reminds me a little bit of Battleship. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the card aspect, almost like a uh, kind of like a matching game type of thing. You're flipping cards, stealing things, whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it's, that's an Sounds interesting like fun, concept. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what's uh, what's our next game? A little, a little mystery, like, 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 like a like clue or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah. if that feels good. Um, here's a little little deck of cards, right here. It's called uh, Slush Fund. When money talks, politicians listen. Wow. What a, ti <laughs> what a, t what a timely game. Uh, as members of the 1%, use your vast sums of money to advance your own political agenda. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Uh, wow. So that sounds like fun. Yeah, I'll read a little bit of what it says about here. Uh, so it says, speaking of playing politics, Slush Fund 2 by Dr. Finn Games puts a cynical spotlight on political corruption. On the plus side, you get to play as one of the people benefiting from it. <laughs> get your way simply by throwing a few million dollars at the right political influencer. Also, you don't need the original Slush Fund to play Slush Fund 2. Uh, and this is what Dr. Finn's game says about it. They say, it's 21st century America, a place where money talks and politicians listen. In this game, you are a member of the 1%, and you use your fortune to bribe and influence lawmakers. Slush Fund 2 is a quick and strategic air area control game based upon the original Slush Fund. However, the role of luck has been lessened and the power cards have been improved. Um, 
So that sounds pretty cool. Sounds like a neat little game, you know? Yeah. Um, it's kind of interesting that you're playing as kind of the bad guys, but <laughs> it's, hey, it's, uh, that makes it interesting. it's kind of fun, you know? It's, yeah. it's a game, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. right. <clears throat> wow. Let's see if I can get this And out. the next we have, or I believe our last game is called The Capitals. This is by Mercury Games. Try to get it out of the box. So this is the Capitals. It like just fits in the box like perfectly. Um, it's a really big Cities game. through time. Wow. It's got a, um, Yeah. Looks pretty cool. The world's most famous capital cities didn't just appear overnight. It took careful planning, resources, and time. Now new countries seek to build great capitals of their own, and you're challenged to create a city like any other, unlike any other. But with each new era comes new challenges, and you must be prepared to make important decisions. The winning player will earn the right to host the next World Expo, but that surprise reserved for only the most prestigious city. The Capitals is a city-building game unlike any other, featuring new, world, new and creative game mechanics. Cities uh, take many years to build, and the Capitals require players to plan ahead and create their vision. Playing over three eras, from Victorian to modern day, players are challenged to build a capital city that can compete with the world's best, but also stand the test of time. With over 100, build, 100 unique buildings to construct, no two cities will ever be identical. Hmm. What story will your city tell? Hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's, I mean, there's actually a board there. There's some cards. Um, uh, there's player pieces. Uh, tourists. I mean, you got all kinds of stuff in this game. It looks pretty extensive. Yeah. Um, so. 140 plus building tiles. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. So that's pretty interesting. It almost kind of reminds me of like a, a Sims type game. This game. Uh, yeah. But it's like the board game version of it. Right. Um, I'll tell you what, this game, if you bought this in the store, this would be expensive. Oh, yeah. I would think so, yeah. Just, just this yeah. game alone. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah. It's heavy. Um, so. so a little bit more about that just from what uh, Board Game Bento says about it. It says, we are all guilty of looking at our politicians as saying, I could do better. Well, the Capitals by Mercury Games lets you put your money resource, uh, your money resource onto Mouth Street. <laughs> uh, you get to use clever components like the crossroads piece, uh, pieces to build your city and score uh, your progress with the isometric point tracker. Uh, this is a game we cannot have had in our box before this month, and I am super excited to be getting this to you. Not only is the Capitals one of the best city building games out there, it's the largest game we have ever included. Uh, you may not have noticed, uh, but we are debuting a new box this month. Uh, if you are, if you compare this month's uh, board game bento box to previous months, our new box is noticeably larger, and it still has trouble fitting this massive game. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's 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 really cool. Um, looks pretty extensive. It looks like it might take a little bit of time to figure figure it out. Uh, but it looks like it would be a pretty complex, interesting game. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to, to checking all these out um, and seeing, uh, seeing what the game mechanics are. So, very cool. Uh, if you're interested in uh, uh, Board Game Bento, you can go to boardgamebento.com. Uh, if you want to sign up with them, give them a try. Uh, you can sign up for a month or, or, or longer periods of time. Um, then uh, just let them know that uh, you heard about them from the Star Wars Comics cast. And next month, uh, their theme is the future. So looking forward to checking that out. Oh, that some some futuristic uh, board games. Yeah. So awesome. Very cool. Until uh, next time. Signing out. <laughs>